Good afternoon, this is Ivan Amara. I just came back from work. I hope you guys enjoyed my, my short video I made right before I left work. I made that video, I worked in the bathroom, right? But right before I left, and I just arrived like 10, 15 minutes ago, and I watched my video. So I, I'm going to make a video tonight because there's nothing to watch on you, dude. When, when, usually when Robert has something, or like Neo 2, Star Wars Theory, and like Midnight Edge, I watch that stuff. Robert May Burnett, I watch the video. Sometimes I watch John Campy's highlights. When there's not much, when 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 there's not much to watch with the channels that I that, that that I follow on YouTube, I just make a video, or like watch a movie or listen to music or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I show up here. I talk about the Matrix. Hypothetically speaking, when I do the Matrix, that's what's gonna happen. Obviously, I have to pitch one pitch to Warner Bros. and. You have to have uh, three steps. First step, the Wakasians have to be on board. Second step, they have to erase Resurrections. And third step, I give them $2 billion in cash for the, for the rights for the sequel to The Matrix, obviously. But enough about The Matrix. That's way down the road from now. I'm going to focus. I like talking about Zanus more because Zanus is based off my novel that I wrote. And it's a better story than my Matrix stories. So the Matrix story is a good story, but it's not as good as Zanus. <laughs> the Zanus story is so good, man. The best fan story I've ever told, yeah. It's the best fan story I've ever told, man. There is nothing. There's no fantasy novel like Zanus. Zanus is that good, yeah. It's a masterpiece. Some Sarah. I'll fund the movie with my own money. One point two billion, fifty million dollars. I'll fund it if I have enough money towards the movie. And Peter Jackson, they'll give some my top two cans to direct the movie. Obviously, Peter signs his seven forty five million New Zealand deal. Mel signs his like two seventy million American deal. I want to put double that. I'm like Peter. I'm not paying you. Though. You're fucking creepy. I'm not gonna pay you. <laughs> All right, what about 550, 600? I'm like, no. <coughs> 425 million is not. 425 million is 500 million, Peter. I even I want more. I want like 600 million dollars for the royalties because he wants like an 800, 900 billion dollar deal, billion plus deal. He's greedy, man. I'm like, no, Peter. I <coughs> pay is enough. Because most likely I will be making my seven to like maybe nine billion dollars off the book. If I make 7.5, I'm not. Get, I'm probably gonna make around that entry movie on Amazon taking a cut of it. I'm not giving you eight fifty million dollars in royalties. You're fucking greedy. Four hundred million dollars is a boatload of money, man. That director's home won't even make. Yeah, that director's home. That director's home are not even worth. <laughs> and I'm paying you that for your royalties, and that don't, does not include your base and your rich like one fifty million merch deal. Ninety million Canadian for the merch is like one fifty million in, in, in New Zealand money for Peter. So you're making your rich one fifty million dollars for the merch, and your rich five hundred million dollars for the. Uh, for, 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 the, for the royalties, the box office, and your 100 million base. It's a good deal, but you're just greedy. So I don't also not know if you're going to have one more. I'm like, Peter, you're <coughs> fucking greedy. I'm not going to pay more money. He's a greedy pig, Peter. You know? It's a deal, Ivan. This is more than what I made for the rings. Yeah, Peter, it's more than what you made for the rings. So I'm being greedy, man. Ivan, this is enough money for me. Like, $400 is more than what I buy back. I'm just being an asshole. I'm being greedy, Ivan. Yeah. You smell one in the water, you want a bigger chunk of the pie. So I'm not giving you more money, Mr. Sarah. I'm not giving you more money. Yeah. Do I get free merch, Ivan? Yeah, Peter, you get your free merch. Every single merch that I sell uh, will be shipped to your house for free. And Skysys will cover the cost for it, obviously. You get your free 4K Blu-ray box set. Sent to you in the mail. You get your, your six framed ones. You ask him, do you want framed or paper ones? You want he'll he'll, he'll want the framed ones. Okay, you'll get your six framed ones that you can hang in your uh, in, in your house. And you get your L mugs and you get all the clothing and everything. Like the toques, the hats, the t shirts, the sweaters that you can wear. Which he will wear because he's a fan, obviously, yeah, and your shoes, all that all you get all for set for, set for free. 
you and your and your wife and some of your kids, like on some of your grandkids. So I how the merch work? For the posters and L mugs, it comes in like a bond. My deal is it comes in a bundle deal. Tell Amazon I want the bundle deal for that. You pay your one hundred twenty for the paper ones and like two hundred, two hundred, probably two hundred plus for the frame. Frame is very expensive, man. It's like probably gonna cost like two hundred dollars, one seventy dollars and not for the frame ones. Six frame ones for like two hundred dollars, a good deal. But for the clothes, you can either buy it individual or you get the whole family package for like three hundred million. Sorry, for three hundred dollars, some Sarah. The whole family bundle deal is like three hundred, three fifty dollars. Or you buy, you can buy it individually. You can buy maybe two items, three items. It's up to you. But your best bets to get the family deal, the, the whole bundle package for like three fifty dollars. But three fifty bucks is a good deal. You get like three, you get like two toques, two hats, three three t shirts, three sweaters, three pants, three shorts, three shoes, and like three sandals for like three fifty bucks. It's a good three hundred dollars around. That's a good deal. Three hundred bucks, two eighty dollars. It's a good deal. Three hundred dollars is a good deal. Or if you don't want to buy it, you, just, you can just buy like a one pair of shoes for maybe 25, 30 bucks. The shoes will be expensive. The shoes will probably be 50, 60 bucks. But I'm going to have nice shoes. Get one shoe for 60 bucks. You can get one sweater for 30, 40 bucks. I'm saying one t shirt for 25 bucks, 30, 25 bucks. One hat for $25. I'm saying, or you get the whole bundle deal for $300. You can do that. But the posters, is just, you don't buy it individually. You buy the whole bundle. That way you get the whole package for the posters, obviously. Because more people are going to want to get the posters than the, than the clothing, obviously. It's nice to have a fucking frame poster in your house and nail mugs. That's fucking nice. Whereas the clothes, not everyone really cares that much about that, but some people want to rock the merch. And that's why for the for the red carpet premiere, you're going to see all the all a lot, a lot of fans wearing my merch, man. Yeah, man, it's been crazy. They're wearing my sweaters. They're wearing my t-shirts. <laughs> They're fans. Of the of the of the of the movie, yeah. They all wear their sweaters and like t shirts and all that stuff. Some of them even bring the posters with them and they even bring their books with them. And they're they're gonna want me and and, and that's the they're, they're gonna want the stars, all the stars to sign their books. Because they're now the star of Zanus, they're gonna want all the stars to sign their books, all the stars to sign their posters. The ones who bring the posters. John Wayne, sign my poster, yeah, 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 yeah. and they see signs their poster. Oh my god, I saw you look so cool in that trailer. Are you okay, John? Oh my god, those those demons, those devils are so freaky. Oh my god, he's so scary. Are you okay? You know, I say, yeah, I'm fine, man. <laughs> Kick the devil's ass. Kick the devil's ass. Kick the devil's ass. This isn't crazy, yeah. <laughs> Very red carpet than even Hollywood, except except it's more simple. <laughs> There's no news media there. The only media there is the doc team filming it. Because I want, I want them filming the, the doc team. For, so the red carpet documentary will come out after the movie's released. Like after... The red carpet documentary will come out after the movie is released. And the post production one will come out after too. So once the whole world has already seen the movie, I'll release the post production for the movie. And then the red carpet event. So there's a lot of things to entertain you guys, yeah. Whereas pre-production and production, I'll release that before the movie gets released. Whereas post-production, you release it. Um, no, post-production, you can release it like maybe a couple weeks even before the movie gets released. But to, to edit the doc won't take long. They can edit it in a good month, man. How long will it take you to edit it? We'll edit it in a good month. Yeah, it doesn't take that long, the documentary. Whereas the movie will take long. Because you have all the, the, the hundreds of millions of money with visual effects, right? That's a lot. That's like a long time, yeah. Sir, yeah. 
Yeah. Will you be excited, Ivan, for the movie? Yeah, I will. Why are you so excited? Yeah. Once I start the process for Zayn, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I struggle a little bit with anxiety because of the keys, but I'm gonna be excited for the movie, man. Yeah. I'm gonna get featured on magazine ads, use a doctor's phone wherever I go, man. I feel like a, I'm a fucking famous celebrity, yeah. You know, keeping your Kardashians is the doctor who's following them around wherever they go, yeah. Think, think of a documentary better than keeping up with the Kardashians, guys. Because it's an Ivan documentary, and I'm fucking interesting to watch. <laughs> I'm so interesting to watch. I'll be hooked watching the documentary. The documentary will almost be as good as just as good as the movie. A twenty hour, twenty plus hour like I'll be behind the footage of the movie. Yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing documentary. Yeah. Me and my condo. So you're gonna get the behind the scenes of behind the scenes of me and my condo. Me writing the script with, with Mel or Peter. All that stuff. And that noise is very annoying. That you know, the fucking air conditioner. They installed a new one like last week. <clears throat> yeah, that's been crazy, man. Being featured on a magazine ad shoots, that's fucking cool, right? And you get behind the scenes of that too. Me co writing the script. Because for most movies, what they do is they focus on the behind the scenes of the making of the film, but they don't do the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Because I'm doing both. The making of the film as well as the behind the scenes of the making of the film. Behind the scenes of the making of the film means what? Well, you're filming like... You're filming the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. So me and my condo, the 17 in their condo. Me uh, signing the actors. Hollywood doesn't do that. Me writing the script in the boardroom. Hollywood doesn't show the, the directors writing the script. It's just the making of the movie. The actors training in their hometown. Um, the, uh, the crewmen prepping in Switzerland... Which Hollywood does show, but they only show, I'm showing like a, a, a good chunk of it, like all the departments, like they did for the prequels. You have a thing like all, the, you show all the departments. The chef department, who cooked the food, obviously. The dishwashers, the costume designers, the mask designers, weather workshop, arm and weapons. The construction crewmen building the sets, the makeup artists, the hair designers art department the visual effects team the editors all the departments yeah what an amazing documentary yeah the photographers the ad shoots right I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of the ad shoot Hollywood never show barely doesn't show the behind the scenes of the ad shoots they just do the making of the film I'm going to do the behind the scenes of the ad shoots too the magazine ad shoots yeah I think that's a sick documentary you know how keeping up with they take those professional pictures when I get featured on a magazine, yeah, I take like this professional picture. We have this magazine ad ad, ad catalog on my Sky Source and use like Deadline, all the reports. It looks like amazing, yeah. Yeah. How much do you make off your book, Ivan? Either five to seven to nine million. That's mo that's most likely how much I make. I think I'm gonna make seven, seven point five. Seven point five maybe I make off the book, yeah. It's enough money. I spend two billion dollars on the uh Yeah, I'm spending about two billion dollars of my money for, for, for everything to do with my Scarcer's company, like two million bucks. And you also have the condo and the jet and the yacht. So if I make seven point five billion after I pay, I paid for everything. If you're including the personal stuff, I spent a good like two two point like I don't know, like not eight billion bucks of my money, almost three billion dollars of my money. I blew obviously by so after I pay, I I spent everything. I still have four point five billion in my bank. Let's say I make seven point five million dollars. I still have four or five dollars in my bank. I'm fine. I'm. I never have to work again. Like this, that's enough money to last me for hundreds of years. George, like Ivan, how much money did you spend so far? Like you, you Ivan, you're spending like two billion dollars of your money for all this. Be careful, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, Peter. This is an investment. I'm gonna make my money back. I'm gonna make my money back. Yeah, I'm gonna make my money back. I have the keys. I'm gonna make my money back. <laughs> I'll make my money back, man. Good investment, right? Yeah. See, I can easily be cheap. And put twenty million dollars towards my suit lot. And I have my company's my, my office is mediocre. 
it's not as good as Hollywood. I can do that, but I want my comedy brand in Hollywood and give give the, the crew and actors their experience. I said everything. That's why I'm putting two hundred and also towards the the studio lot. It's so that way I have a beautiful property land like Grand Turismo. So I'm saying, I want to have a nice condo that without well, that's that's why I'm putting three fifty and also with my condo. So I'm saying. You guys see what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you quality. Yeah, I want it to be top quality, obviously. And if I make, if I'm surprised, and I make 10, 10.5, 11, then I'll, I'll put 500 million towards the studio lot and 500 million towards my condo. But if I make 7.5, don't hate me. I'm saying that's how much money I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put 350 towards the condo and uh, 200 million towards the studio property lot, obviously. I'm sorry. That's my call me top notch. George's like, Ivan, you want your land to look like this? Like this ground missile picture here? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit, that's beautiful. I can't picture of a better studio lot looking like that. Yeah. Ivan, this is nicer than Disney's studio lot. Disney has a beautiful studio lot. It's not as nice as that ground missile lot, man. Waterfront property. Look at something amazing. Yeah, man. Obviously. If I'm, I'll say this, if I make something crazy, like twenty billion, then I'll put a billion dollars towards. I'm gonna pimp it out completely. I'll put a billion dollars towards the studio lot and a billion towards my condo if I make twenty billion plus. But I, I most likely won't make that. But if I do, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pimp it out completely. Put like a billion towards uh, the, the 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 studio lot. I might even build it in a nearby island and I and I have them build like a bridge. And a train goes in that bridge to my island or something like that. My studio lot. I put a billion towards a pimp it out like Incredibles. If I made like uh, 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 20 billion. I can do that. Obviously. You can do that. Yeah, man. Not in, no, I'm not a fan of the island. Forget the island. But it'll be, it'll be very, very... A billion dollars is too to do high. That's, 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 like, that's like Incredibles. That's crazy. But even 200 million dollars, is that, 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 that's high tech, man. That's really, really high tech, but it's not like 500 million or a billion, right? So I have qualifications depending on how much I make on my vote, but realistically speaking, I'm going to make probably 5 point something billion or like 7 billion, maybe 6, or 8 or 9 or, or 8 or 9 or 7. I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that I think I'm going to make 7, 7.7 point, 7 point like 7 billion or something like that. Which is enough money, obviously. You may say, I have to use a bathroom. We back because I don't hate it. I said. If I'm going to wait.
Yeah, so stay tuned tomorrow. I'll make a video. New Year's Day. Will you make it right after work? I don't know when you wait till nighttime. I'll wait till nighttime. I don't know. You guys prefer I make it before New Year's or you want me to make it early in the morning? I, I'll just make it right when, when I come back from work. I'll make the video. I'll make it New Year's Eve before you, you guys can watch my video. Party it up if you're partying it up and want enjoy the show before New Year's Day 2024. We're now 2024, guys. The, the world is 20, 2024 years old. That's how old the world is, obviously, yeah. Because you guys are crazy people, you have all these theories about evolution. It's millions of years old. When you know I'm fucking dog, you guys are crazy people, man. Yeah, man. Why well, haven't you marked this, man? That's why we don't show you any respect. Okay, fine. If you want to be like that, fine. I'm just saying you're going to be left behind when I'm gay, man. I keep saying that. In other words, all my candidates for the script developer position who I'm interested in, I'm going to fly them to Vancouver and, and show them the uh, the model. Like, yeah, guys, this is what this, my studio lot will look like. I even mean, look like that, like, grounds and missile. I'm like, yeah, it's something beautiful. Like, holy shit. Yeah, that's going to be your office. This is going to be your offices where you're going to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why it looks like crazy for the applications. Yeah. But y'all, I want out of home. I want to work for Ivan and get my freedom and, and be safe and not be left behind. Because I know once I'm king, it's the end of the world. The Hollywood companies, their movies, their television shows are side tension now. No hate, no sin, no. It's the end of the world, man. No hate, no sin, yeah. Hi, why do you think you make $7 billion? Because only the English-speaking world are going to buy my book. The people who don't understand English won't buy it. They, can't understand, they don't understand English. But PDF... A PDF file, you can convert it to Spanish or French, I believe. But so most people in Africa don't understand. Only like 100 million people in Africa speak English. But Africa, they don't even have access to Lulu, I believe. But they can buy the ebook, obviously. But most people in Africa don't speak English. Most people in South America don't speak English. Most people in Mexico don't speak English. Most people in the Middle East don't speak English. Most people in China don't speak English. So even the people in China, most of them will not be able to buy my books. They don't understand English. Only the people in China who speak English, only only a good like, I heard only like eight percent or something like that of people in China understand English. So maybe only I don't know. Twenty million people in China buy my book. So I'm Sarah. Whereas the main places that are gonna buy my book is gonna be the States, Canada, Europe, and like Australia, New Zealand. Those areas are English. They're gonna buy my book. Whereas all the other foreign places won't buy it. The Zanes is, is released in one language. It's released in English. Will you release your book in different languages, Ivan, in the future? Nah, I'm not going to do that, man. It's just too much work. It's a hassle. I'm not going to do that. Don't hate what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> but I'll release the movie in different subtitles. Like, eight subtitles for the, for the people in China and Japan. And, like, Mexico, who, I don't know, who speaks Spanish. Yeah. So I'm saying, That's why I'll make... I'm probably going to sell, like, 600 million copies. So I'll make... Uh, you have taxes, and, and Lulu takes 20%. I make probably $7.5 billion or maybe $9 billion. Lulu pulls in a few billion bucks off my royalties. And PayPal's taking maybe $200 million of my money, $170 million of my money for the royalties. Because they take like 1.8% of my royalties. And that's why I don't want Amazon doing that for, like, for the payments. Because Amazon will be paying us online payments every like month, whatever it is, for the 4 February sales of merch. You get your 20%, that's it. I get my 70%, and no hidden fees for the payments. Put that in a contract. No hidden fees for the payments. No hidden fees at all. Amazon gets 28. Ivan gets 72. And make sure you say the two recipients. Don't say Skyers, otherwise the, the, the government, government can come after me. The taxes are not on the stuff, I'm sorry. So you'll know how much you make off your movie based off your book, your book. Yeah, it's it's off, duh. Okay, well, I can make seven million bucks off the book. Chances are he'll make around that range for the movie. Maybe a bit more, maybe eight or nine. 8.5, 8.7 7 million off the movie, some center. After after uh, Amazon gets their cut and I, I pay my taxes, I make maybe eight billion bucks off the movie. Hence why be careful with Peter Jackson. 
don't just be stupid and give him eight fifty dollars a roll. He's, 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 he's a greedy pig, man. Don't pay him that. Sorry. Four hundred million dollars is enough. But if I, I told you, if I make like twenty million, I can give Peter eight fifty dollars because I know I'll make that for the movie. You, you guys see my point here? If you make seven off the book, don't give him that. Pay him four twenty five dollars. Oh, it's enough. Okay, his mother wouldn't make Lord of the Rings, yeah. What if he's angry? Right? If he's angry, then I'm like, look, man, if you're not happy with his offer and you're pissed off, you're more than welcome to go back to Hollow and I'll choose Mel over you. Yeah, there you go. It's a deal, I mean, yeah. This is more, I, I don't even make this in Hollywood. Yes, you don't make this in Hollywood. It's a good deal. All right, this is the biggest contract ever for any director, man. Like a $750 million deal. He's like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. Yeah. But because he's greedy, he wants more money in his bank. He's a greedy pig, obviously. Ivan, what if you, let's say you choose Peter, if you don't tell Peter how much you want, you want him to pay the actors, will you offer them a share of contract? Yeah, he will. Because Peter's blind by his greed, he will, obviously. Because Peter knows Avon Jersey is not worth $11 million. He's not stupid, obviously. He'll offer him like a 950k deal. <laughs> he's he's cheap and greedy. <laughs> Ivan, it's a great paycheck. I'm like, Peter, it's not that great, man. You're fucking greedy, man. Ivan, this is all my those actors before the rings, Ivan. They were hard for me, man. This is all what they made. That's a good paycheck, Ivan. That's okay, so Peter. You tell me how much do you, do you honestly think of Andre is worth? I don't know, Ivan, like 500 k I'm like, Peter, you're fucking cheap. Ivan, that's what he's worth. He's only worth like he's only worth like a million dollars, a million five or something like that. He's not he's not worth like an million dollars. You're fucking crazy, Ivan. He's worth like five hundred K for your movie, Ivan. It's a good paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Peter, it's not that great. Oh, Ivan, it's a great paycheck, man. Like that's what he's worth. I'm like, Peter, man, if you pay him this, he's going to be pissed off. Ivan, if he's pissed off, it's his problem. It's our problem, Ivan. You know, so he gets paid for his worth. <laughs> he doesn't care about the actors. Peter will be pissed off at you, Ivan. Like, who cares if he's pissed off? It's his problem, Ivan. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Ivan? I would never pay him this. You know what I'm saying? He's not worth this. You're fucking crazy, Ivan. He's not Liam Neeson. This is how much Liam Neeson makes in Hollywood, Ivan. He's not Liam Neeson. I mean, like, you're crazy. He's not worth this contract. This is local. This is madness. What is wrong with you? <laughs> $11 million for a guy who, a guy who did Victorious and, 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 and never had movies. I mean, he's not worth that. Yes, Peter, hence why he'll destroy the role. I know he's not worth this, but he'll destroy the role and he'll brag how much better my comedy is in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I know. Even if Von Judy knows he's not worth that contract. But if you pay him that, he striked it rich. He's going to destroy the role for Pyre. And he'll brag how much better my company is in Hollywood. Higher paying work, better company. Some Sarah? You know what I'm saying? And the accountant and uh, League of Rise, they might start with Peter Ivan. Uh, Peter has a point, man. Like, that's what he's worth, man. He's worth like 500 here for your movie. I'm like, you guys are fucking cheap. Ivan, you're too generous, man. This is crazy. Fine, pay him as. Peter's like, fine, pay him as you put five, but you don't have to give him rolling. This is, that's enough. Yeah, it is enough. You're right, it's enough. It's more enough money. You don't have to give him royalties. What's wrong with you? It's not worth that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ivan, you're the main showman, not not him. You know, build a little bit of buzz because he's a Hollywood actor, but he's not he's not the main show. You are. Why are you giving me royalties, Ivan? You're crazy. I'm like, Peter, I'm gonna make a lot of money. This is peanuts. I want him to work hard for me and destroy the role. Just give him royalties. Don't be cheap. Yeah. Don't be fucking cheap, man. There. So I, if you don't speak up, yeah, if I don't speak up, Peter will offer Avon Jones like 500k or maybe 600, 700k or something like that. Because Peter's cheap and greedy. He thinks that's, that's how much he's worth. Well, he's right though. Literally speaking, Avon Jones is worth around 500 to 600k for my movie. But I know if I pay him that, he won't work as hard. Because it's not that great. It's not a great paycheck. It's okay. He makes, I don't know, if you sign him to a 950k deal, he makes like 450k after taxes. That's a, lot, that's a lot of money. Because I'm like, Peter, it's not that great, man. You fucking cheap, greedy pig, man. Ivan, it's a great paycheck, man. He can get, like, his nice, like... Yeah, he can't get a $500,000 Lamborghini. Yeah, but he can get, like, a $50,000 Benz. <laughs> that's good enough. I'm like, Peter, you're fucking cheap, man. 
He can get his nice clothes. He can rent out his apartment for a couple more years. He'll get Rose and Hollow. They'll offer him good money. He'll be fine, Ivan. Yeah, Peter, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine, Ivan. Like, why, why, why are you so concerned about how much he's making? That's what he's worth. For the movie, Ivan. This is double my lord's action before the rings, Ivan. It's a good paycheck. You know what I'm saying? And the account of Ivan, I mean, he's right. That is a good paycheck. It's not bad, but it's not that great. You can blow it in like four years. Ivan, mean, that's what he's worth, man. He gets paid for what he's worth, man. He's not worth I mean, all. This is madness. <laughs> You're overpaying all your stars, Ivan. What is wrong with you, Ivan? <laughs> you might tell me that, I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Why is Peter blind by three? Because... Because Peter Jackson signed his master contract, he, all he cares about is how much money goes to his bank and, and how much money is going towards his movie, obviously. He's blind by his greed. So because he knows he's taking care of, he, he, he doesn't see he doesn't see his, his blind his his cheapness and his blindness, obviously. I, I know you think I'm I, I know you think I'm cheap and I'm greedy, but like trust me, man, this is a good paycheck for Von Jojo Ivan. I'm like, Peter man, don't fucking pay him this man. He'll be pissed off. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's his problem, man. If he's pissed off, it's his problem, man. Like, he has to pay for what he's worth, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, he's fine, man. Pay him this. He's not going to work as hard for you, and he'll be a bit pissed off because he saw my videos, and he's expecting me to pay him this money, and there's nothing worse than me paying him a different a different contract. If you pay John Baega, like, two million, he'll be pissed off, too. And don't forget, he lives in London, so you have pounds. He's making a bit less, right? They're, these actors are going to be pissed off. Because they're not really, really getting paid. Pay Jimon Su two, three million, he'll be pissed off. Because he's not. They're getting pretty good paychecks, but it's not like a rich. They're not. They're not getting paid, man. Whereby they make like five, six, seven million in their bank. That's getting paid. You get four million, three million, five million, six million, seven million in your bank, eight million in your bank after taxes, nine million in your bank after taxes. That's you getting paid. Ten million in your bank after taxes. Eleven million. Eleven million in your bank after taxes. That's you getting paid. Shamakaver.